We're responsible for setting up all of the uh, the start venue for each stage. Uh, we were here this morning at uh, 4.30. Um, we've got quite a bit of kit to set up actually. We've got the podium, hospitality area, the start gantry there that you can see, all of the barriers. Uh, quite a lot of signage connected with where the, the teams and the media and everyone has to park and also we're responsible for the route in so uh, the, the signs that everybody sees on the way in to get here make sure nobody gets lost on the way to the start. We've got in the region of uh, 30 crew who are on site here, uh, everyone's got their own roles so we've got a couple of guys who do the podium, we've got a team who do the hospitality, um, about 8 or 10 guys who do the barriers so everyone's got their own roles to do and then when they're done everybody just mucks in and helps with whatever's still left to do. Uh, well, I'm part of the start crew, so um, obviously every race uh, to finish needs a start, so we turn up very early, about 4am, uh, and build what you see behind us here. Uh, essentially, because it's very early, people, residents go to bed, uh, and they wake up in the morning, open up the curtains, it's a bit like Christmas Day, and it's a bike race outside the door. So, uh, so that's pretty much what we do here, and then once the race is gone, collapse it all down and move it on to the next town. It's, it's, the, it, it's the satisfaction of, of having everything ready, looking great, um, for when the first teams and first spectators uh, start to arrive. I think the main thing for me is it's fantastic to see, I'm a big fan of bike racing anyway, so it's great to see all the, 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 the stars of the World Tour, uh, obviously, but it's, it's really nice to bring something to a lot of these small towns uh, and see the, see the spectators and, and the interest, and to generate that interest for the younger generation going forward, I think. We're generally, generally set up, we look at somewhere between three and four hours, and to take down generally takes us an hour and a half, two hours, so generally within two hours of the race having left, we're pretty much packed up and on our way to our next start location. Three, two, one, away we go. The flag is way, bang the boards, cheer the boats on, make plenty of noise. Now they line up for the finish between Brenauer and Dora. Dora takes a second stage victory of this race. Lead is a Brenauer, let it out, but it goes to Jolene Dora. Yolene Dura celebrates her second stage victory on this year's tour following her win on the opening day. The uh, results come in uh, straight from uh, the officials. I either get paper with the information on or it comes by text, depending on the distance from the finish to the podium. I then print out, or pre-print out, the logos. These are all heated up. Put the jerseys onto the onto the heaters and then press down a few seconds. And I've usually got to get those done in a matter of minutes. And um, so far I've had no mishaps. Everything has worked incredibly well. Mariana Voss crashing out, Lisa Brenner has taken possession of the green jersey as leader of the Ovo Energy Women's Tour. We have uh, a whole range of different sizes, uh, but we have to do everything here to make sure that everything is quality controlled, they, they will print, and that we will have you know, a great look on the podium. So it's my job to do quality control on all of those. So I'm in control of that whole thing.